Every vlog seems to start in my Jeep lately. I'm on my way to go pick my mom up. I'm gonna take her to a doctor's appointment. She has a doctor's appointment this morning uh, with her uh, normal doctor. So we're gonna go, she's gonna chat with him about what happened yesterday and last night. So I'm gonna go on a limb today and assume my mom probably doesn't want to be on camera. So you probably won't hear from me again until after we're done all these appointments and stuff with her. So yeah, I just want to honor that with her and I hope you guys understand. I'm sure you absolutely do. The one thing I did want to do that I forgot to do yesterday is I want to do a shout out to the staff at the Thrifty Foods in the Sandston. You guys responded really quick. You were super great with my mom and everything that happened there. So I wanted to give Thrifty's a big shout out. I didn't do that yesterday and I should have. Uh, they were super great. They took her groceries. They put them in a fridge for us. They kept them for us. They they were just they were apparently really really good with my mom. So shout out Thrifty Foods. Thanks for taking care of her when all that happened at your location. Great. Uh Great hanging out with mom, so took her to her appointment, that's all done. I'm gonna head back to work now, so I'll see you guys after work. Uh, I did notice that somebody, on my, I got an alert on my phone, someone on my YouTube channel uh, asked me to check my placement of the uh, little muffs on top of my cameras. When I did my comparison of the G7X and the RX100 Mark IV, uh, the sound was distinctly different and the Sony lost completely. Apparently he says that everyone else that's testing it really likes the sound from the Sony, so. Who knows? I'm gonna go and just double check because I like to be accurate, but you never know. I might have done something wrong, but I may not have, or maybe I even got a bum camera. I don't know. So back to work and then uh, I'm out of here. If you remember back a while ago, I did a comparison with the G7X that I use almost all the time and the Sony RX100 Mark IV, which I don't use as much as I thought I would. <clears throat> Main reason I didn't like it was the sound and the focus wasn't as easy to correct if it locked onto the wrong thing. I had someone message me and tell me they've read a lot of reviews that the sound on the Sony is okay and they think the fact that I used these little muffs on it made it so that the sound on it wasn't as good. So what I thought I'd do really quickly is just do a quick test comparison of the sound of these two. I'll take all these little muff things off and give them a right out of box comparison. The other thing the person thought that I did is put the Velcro circles over top of the mic holes, but if you look, I didn't. They're absolutely centered, dead in. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Oh, I have a touch screen. So if you look, they're centered right dead in the middle of the round holes. So theoretically, and I'll show you both just so you can see that both are correct. So they're both centered right in the middle of the holes. Um, the downside to <clears throat> doing that with this camera is I lose the ability to use the pop-up flash or the little viewfinder that comes with it. But <clears throat> that's okay to me. I wasn't really worried about that. I was more concerned with just getting good sound out of the out of the camera. So I'm gonna set this up right now. I'm gonna take these off this one, and I'm gonna take them off of the um, G7X, and we're gonna do a little comparison just for sound, so you guys can hear it. I'm in a pretty quiet living room. Um, yeah, so we'll just give it a go here. All right, so I've got both cameras set up here side by side. They're exactly the same uh, placement from me. The lenses are pretty much exactly the same distance from my face. So I thought I'd give you this sound comparison again. So what I'm running right now is the G7X uh, with no extra stuff on it and the sound just kind of reset to factory. I've got the Sony RX100 Mark IV with all my little extras off of it and just running uh, just bass sound on that as well. So I thought I'd give you a chance to hear what both of those sound like in a pretty quiet environment. Uh, this is the G7X again. This is the G, the RX100 Mark IV. So again, this is the sound of the G7X, which I have found to be better. I'll be interested to see if this test, if it's not true. This is the RX100 Mark IV, and it'll be interesting to see how the sound is on this. Um, if I have a chance tomorrow, I'll also do like an outdoor and a loud area comparison of these two cameras, because I do know that the G7X, sometimes if I slam a car door, something drops its volume. Um, the RX100 
or sorry, the RX, the, yeah, the RX 100 Mark IV doesn't do it as much, I don't think, but I'd love to test it so you can hear what it's like in a crowded room. I was at Vancouver Fashion Week with the, um, <clears throat> the RX 100 Mark IV and the G7X, and I, uh, I did a test in that big loud room where lots of people were talking and I found the sound on the G7X was far better and less tinny and noisy than the sound on the RX100 Mark IV. But if you're using external recorders, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for those of us who don't have that ability with their vlogging gear um, or want to carry around a big, huge, heavy thing, then this is the best stuff you're going to get. So we'll test these again. Again, I'll put on the muffs again right now so we can see what the difference is with those on. So just give me two seconds here. All right, so there I've got the cameras back how I was running them. So it'd be interesting to hear if there's any difference here. Again, this is the G7X with my little micro muff on top of it just to kind of cut down on some wind noise, which there's no wind noise here, but it cuts down on the highs and the pops and things like that. This is the RX100 Mark IV with my two little pieces on it. You had to get two of them for it because they're so far apart uh, that you need two of them. Uh, the, RX, the G7X um, has just one that is long and rectangular that fits and works perfectly. Uh, the RX100 needs two of the smaller, uh, rounder ones. So I'll be interested to see how the sound is between the uh, G7X here and the RX100 Mark IV here. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that gives you some uh, another thing to judge this on that's just specifically supposed to be a sound test for you guys. Uh, so just reset right to camera so you guys can see what that's like between, again, the G7X and the RX100 Mark IV. Both lovely cameras, but <clears throat> I think the sound on the G7X so far in my experience has been the better sound. All right, anyways, as usual, uh, remember love each other and live life to the fullest. We'll see you guys next tomorrow. I was going to say next week. My days must be getting really long. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow.